everyone, so this is going to be a hair care video and I'm also going to tell you guys my hair loss story as well as my journey to hair recovery. So let me just let down my hair and show you what it's like by itself. A couple of you have asked me how I do my everyday hair, but I really don't do anything at all. This is just what my hair looks like after it's clean and dry and combed out. I don't straighten it or put hairspray or any sort of hair products in it really, so this is just it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my hair loss story and this is gonna make me really sad. Don't know if you can if you guys can tell or not, but I really, really like curly hair and I'm always curling my hair with a curling iron and whatnot. But back then, like around five years ago, I really didn't know how to use a curling iron, so the only option that I knew of curling my hair is perming it. And my dad would always do like a home perming kind of thing, like he would go to a drugstore and buy, I think it's a L'Oreal brand, kind of like home perming system or something. And it comes with all these like chemicals and stuff. So in junior year, like I really, really wanted them to perm my hair. And I've been begging them for years, they're like, no, you're too young, don't perm your hair, right? But finally in junior year of high school, I persuaded them to perm my hair for me. And before I perm my hair, I had really, really thick, straight black hair, which is what my dad has. And so they did it, and it came out nice. But because my hair is naturally really, really straight, it like fell straight in just two months. I was really upset because I really liked the way my hair looked, and everyone was complimenting me, saying, oh, your hair is really nice and all that. So I permed the second time just two months later. It didn't come out the way I liked it because it got too curly. So then what I did was, this is like the biggest mistake of my life. I tried to, I took it out quickly because you're supposed to keep it in, I think, for a little longer so that it would maintain the curl. But I think I tried taking it out, I tried like washing out the chemicals so that I would go straight again so I could re-perm it. Okay, so then after the third perm, I decided that I'm just going to stop there and just keep my hair the way it is because what's done was done. So for that year or so, I had to define my curls by using hair gel. And hair gel really, really makes your hair fall out. Back then, I didn't know that, so I would just use hair gel every single day. And another thing is that, you know, junior year of high school or senior year of high school, you don't sleep that much because of, like, all those finals and APs and college applications and all that. So combined with my, like, crazy hair perm experience and the hair gel, my hair started falling out. It was bad. Like, it was just falling out. I can't really describe it. I guess you don't really notice it at first until after a while you start noticing that you know your ponytail isn't as thick as it used to be and pretty soon I started having like a bald spot over here around where I parted my hair. It's not there anymore but I started having a bald spot here and I also started having a bald spot near like the back of the of the separation of the part. So I started having like two bald spots and it was like slowly getting worse and worse and like my grandma would always like be picking on me every day like your hair is falling out and then she'd be like I see your hair in the bathtub it made me really really upset and I just didn't know what to do about it and like the shampoo I, w I was using wasn't helping either at that point I was using Pantene I think Pantene sort of has a reputation for making your hair fall because it's really strong like it cleans your hair really well and it smells really nice but then at the end you see like a bunch of hair in the bathtub Eventually what happened is that my aunt who lived in China like heard about my hair loss problem because seriously like my whole family was talking about it She heard about it and she was like, oh my god, this is shampoo I have to send you So she sent me this shampoo that's endorsed by Jackie Chan and I have one right here This is like my second bottle of it This is the one that I brought back from China because I went to China the past summer But before this I had this huge bottle that lasted me like a year and a half So it's called Ba Wang, I think it is B-A-W-A-N-G this is the anti-falling shampoo, but the one that I used originally was this one. I haven't even opened it yet, but I also brought this back from China. It's like a black bottle, and this is the original formula or something. And this one is not anti-falling. This is anti-falling, but this is the first one I used, and it worked so well. And it's, it's all in Chinese, but it supposedly contains a bunch of traditional Chinese herbs in it. I don't really know how to translate that into English or anything, but I did find a link about the shampoo, so I'm going to include that to the info bar. So check that out. Unfortunately, this is not sold in the States. It's only sold in China, but I did find it on eBay. But it's a lot more expensive than on eBay, so I don't really know what I'm going to do after I'm done using this too. So I started using the shampoo, and at first it smells really funny, because it smells like a whole bunch of Chinese herbs, and I'm like, I don't want my hair smelling like this. People are going to think I'm strange or something. 
But my mom's like, you know, try it out. You never know, because right now all you want is to have your hair grow back, right? Like in the beginning, I didn't notice the difference, but slowly after like a month, I started noticing that my hair was like softer. And with this, it's only shampoo, it's not conditioner, but I don't need the conditioner. Like the shampoo itself would make my hair so soft, and I could actually run my fingers through it. Like back then, my hair was so tangled up and messy, and I had so many split ends, I couldn't even ring, run my fingers through it. But now it's like so soft without even conditioner. I would say after about like five months, six months of using it, like, my hair really started growing out and, and like, couldn't really see the bald spot anymore. So it was like a really slow, progressive change, but now it's like about a year after I started using that shampoo and there's like no like major bald spot or anything anymore and my hair is like a lot softer and like silkier. I don't know if it's shiny or anything, but yeah, I think it really made a big difference. Of course, my hair is not as thick as it used to be, and I don't have as much as I used to have. But also, like, my hair doesn't really fall out anymore. Like, in the shower, after I'm done and I'm, like, cleaning out the hairs, there's not that many strands of hair, just, like, a lot less. And also, I notice that in my bedroom, at the end of the week or something, when I, like, sweep it, there's really not that much hair. In addition to using this shampoo, I also use Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray, and I spray this on my wet hair before I use a blow dryer. And when I use a blow dryer, I just kind of dry my hair for only like 5 minutes until it's like about 80% dry, and then just let it dry the rest on its own. As soon as I'm done drying my hair with a blow dryer, I also use this, and I don't think this is any particular brand or anything. This is green tea, and it says daily no rinse essence oil on it. This I got from a hair salon because I was asking them is there anything that I can put at the ends of my hair to kind of just condition it and make it not have any split ends. And they just told me to buy this. It was kind of expensive. It was like $12 for this little thing. But I'm pretty sure it works just as well as any leave-in conditioner. But back then I was just, <laughs> I was just like dumb. I didn't know what to do. So I was like, okay, just, you know, sell me something, right? So basically it's really, really oily. So I'm not going to put it on my hand right now. But what I do is I just like pump like a small pea size on my hand and I just rub it out and like all this oil gets on my hands and then I just like run it through the ends of my hair like this and I just like kind of just get it all over the ends and whatever is left I'll just like rub it like this and sometimes I'll just put it like a little bit up here as well because I have like shorter layers but I don't put it near the top because it's really oily so yeah, that's basically all I use this is like the only products I have in my hair routine I'm not that's sophisticated. I don't use like hair masks or treatments or anything. That's what I do in right now. You know, I feel like my hair has, you know, recovered a lot. My advice to you all is be satisfied with the way your hair is. Coloring it, perming it, straightening it is really, really bad for your hair. And even though you might believe like your hair is like the healthiest thing ever or you have so much of it and that it'll never fall out, you never know. Sometimes you don't know until you've done it and then it'll be too late to regret it. So for me, that was like the biggest regret of my life, I would say. I just really wish that I could go back in time and just not perm my hair. So that's pretty much it for my hair care. Oh, and another thing is that I don't wash my hair every day. I wash it every other day. And the thing I notice is that if I wash my hair in the morning, it can last two days. But if I wash it at night and then I sleep on it, and that counts as like the first day, then by the time like the second day comes, it's already kind of oily. And that's because like when I sleep, you know, your pillow's dirty, so you kind of get your hair really oily. So what I do is I always wash it in the morning, and then that's the first day, and then that second day I don't wash it, and then the morning of the third day I wash it, and so on. So what I do like the night of the first day is that I'll just like flip my hair like this, and just like tie up my hair and like a bun on the top of my head and it looks really silly but I tied a loose bun though otherwise you have like a crease when you like take down your hair so I just tied a bun like this and I just sleep on it so I don't sleep on this hair I just sleep on like the back so in the morning when I like re take it down and everything my hair is like a lot more like voluminous and also it's less oily because you're not like sleeping at this part to flatten out your hair, you know? Like your hair is not flat or anything and it's not as oily. So that's basically what I do. So yeah, I hope this video wasn't too long. I'm gonna try to edit it down. And I hope that this hair care video helped you out a little bit. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.